What's up guys, it's your boy Spike Productions and today we got a brand new reaction to Superman and Lois. Uh, this episode is titled The Perks of Not Being a Wallflower. So guys, I can't wait to get into this reaction. Um, I didn't do the reaction for this last night because um, I was busy. Um, this weekend I'm going to be going on a trip uh, for my mom's birthday, so I won't be able to do that many reactions and things lately. I know I probably should have been reacting to the Justice League character bios. I probably won't have time to do those. So um, I might just eventually see them. We'll see. Um, but uh, I'll try my best to watch this, get this out for you guys to at least have this. Um, and then I will, if I can do the flash today, uh, I'll try. I'll try to do it tonight because I'm leaving tomorrow to go on this trip. So I won't be back until like next Monday. So um, I'll try my best. But I really wanted to see Superman and Lois because I heard people said that this episode was really good and I didn't get the chance to see it because I was just drained out last night. So we are going to get into this. Let's not waste any more time and let's get into this reaction. Alright, so we're starting at the beginning. So we're starting at three, two, one, go. No. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Y'all suck. Y'all are really painting each other. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. In China? Jeez. I mean, you can tell this is CGI, definitely, because it's a TV show, and the visuals kind of can tell. But it still looks really cool. I still like it. Whoa! Whoa, they're pushing the limit with this shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paint on his hand from earlier. I think that's why he did that. All right, that was a great opening. I love that opening. Ah! Ah! 
うわStand in the background. He already has friends. <laughs> John does already make a friend. What is he listening for?
I mean, I can understand it's an invasion of privacy, but at the same time, dude, you would have lasered him. You would have punched his fucking chest out of his head, out of his freaking... of superpowered people, it's understandable. the hell? Sir? Jesus, asshole. Just standing there. Interesting to see Lana running the cheerleading, because she used to be in cheerleading in Smallville, so that's interesting.
Jordan, what the hell are you doing? Easy, the hell? Right. What, what? This is ridiculous. Is he really trying out for, does he? He doesn't even know what he's doing. Wow. What? What? Wow. Super strength, are you serious? Come on, man. This music is lit, hold up. <laughs> Damn. Wow. This is not, I don't know. This is not a good idea. Clark did the exact same thing once and freaking took a dude's shin off. He popped a dude's arm out, Jesus. <laughs> He popped a whole dude's arm out. What the hell? What? Wow, are you serious? He's punishing his brother for not telling him that his other brother was stronger? That's messed up. Trying to choke? <laughs> yep. They're totally different. Kinda sounds like the exact same thing with Calm. Same thing with Clark.
It's funny that Clark still acts like Clark around his kids. It's so funny. It's it's funny to see that Clark is still acting like Clark around his children. It's it's nice. Cause he doesn't have to act like Superman around his kids now. Savage in that shot, okay. <laughs> Why would you tell him that? You know he's not gonna listen. Why would you tell him that? He's not gonna believe you. This coming from the guy who literally put every single dude who went in front of him on his ass. And you're telling me you don't have super strength? a competition of being as good as Barry and Iris almost a little bit better
obviously. And Clark just found out that he's playing football. Uh, is Clark gonna get in the middle of this? Wow! Get his anger out on some random shit. <laughs> that would be me. Jonathan is sacrificing a lot. OK. 
Okay. Clark's parents always instilled in him that his powers are a gift. Use them wisely. Yet, yes, they were always overprotective in making sure he didn't do things like football or sports that would physically allow him to do physical things, but he was right there. What's the point of having powers and being special if you're not allowed to be special? Makes sense. Lady get got already. Lois, I wouldn't have put my hand on the doorknob. Fingerprints. Come on now. Whether it's Smallville or not, it's instantly like get charged for this type of stupidity. Stop touching stuff! Fingerprints! Come on now. He was gonna kill him. Yes! Super speed! Yes! Yes! Damn. Yo, that was awesome. For a limited fight sequence, that was really good. so far the past three have all been like half an hour because i think this is supposed to be like 15 episodes a season i don't know if they added more but i think it's only supposed to be 15 episodes
wasn't sure how Lana was going to fit into the show because the focus seems to be on Clark, Lois, and uh, the kids. And I assume Sarah because it seems like she's going to be dating Jonah, uh, Jordan eventually. But I like that we're getting some Lana screen time. I wasn't sure exactly what Lana's focus character was supposed to be like, but I like it. I like that we're getting a good amount of side character moments as well. Like, this was a much needed moment between these two, and I love that. Dude, this show just keeps getting better and better. What the hell? <laughs> Let's hope this isn't just limited to one season. Clark makes us suit us people who wear glasses feel a lot better because of us. Seems like he's struggling. He is such a nerd, dude. Like, he plays that so well. Tyler is so good at that. Like, man, I love this show. <laughs> dude, I love this show. It's so good. type of guys working for Morgan Edge that we got a problem.
Who's that? Whoa! I'm watching the promo. Wow. Okay, like I said, this was really good. This was a really good episode. Last episode, I did, I lo I liked it, but I felt like it. Like I mean, obviously, if you watch the first episode, you have high expectations considering how good that episode was. Second episode was kind of a little bit more grounded. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, oh my god, the best. This was really good. This was a really good episode. It caught my attention. I loved every single scene. Sometimes I cringe during certain scenes because it's just like, I feel like it's just not, it doesn't need to be there. But I, even when they were having the heart to heart with Lana and Sarah, I felt like that scene was necessary. Like, I loved it. Like, dude, this entire episode has been great. Like, and you know, because I grew up watching Smallville, I had to make a lot of callbacks to how Clark in that show wanted to play football. But in this version, he wanted to play baseball he did it because of a girl which is kind of similar to why he was doing it um the first time he was doing it because he didn't want to be a loser but then eventually because lana was the cheerleader and that was why but dude this was a really good episode this was really good um i love the moments with lana and clark lana and sarah i loved uh sarah and jordan and jonathan i love jordan and jonathan's relationship is getting a lot better um, I loved it anyway, but it's it's really like people. I would assume that Jonathan was going to be like the jerk jock brother, but based on what I'm seeing, Jonathan is like they they made him look that way, but gave him the character and personality that he usually is in the comic books. Because I've read the comics where Clark and uh, Jonathan have done like missions and stuff together. Um, when he first was brought in uh, to the DC main continuity. But I'm loving it. Like I'm loving. I'm loving Jordan. Jordan. It, Jordan at times kind of pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie. Like Jordan, I understand where he's coming from. I do. But it just infuriates me that he always has an attitude, a problem at every given moment. He likes to put it all on Clark. And it's like, ugh. It's like I know it's parenting. Like parenting. And I like that Lois was sticking up for him as well because it's like. Usually in those type of situations, it's typically the father having a heart to heart with the son, and no one's backing up the father. Usually, if the father's trying to can under is trying to like get his son to understand. So I like that Lois was actually trying to back him up because for most of the times you don't see that happening. But yeah, I'm loving that we got to see a little bit of Lois investigating. So the whole Morgan Edge thing, I figured that Clark fighting Lex Luthor was going to be the focus of the show. Clark was going to have, because it's called Superman and Lois, so it's going to be focused on Clark fighting his normal supervillains while Lois does her investigative reporting stuff, while also throwing in the boys adjusting to Smallville and adjusting to their new lives here and stuff like that. And what it seems like is that Clark is also going to be in Lois's like investigative reporting stuff sometimes, but not all the time, which I think works. I think that makes sense. Especially with that guy. That dude that she was going up against literally had strength on par with Clark. Like, he was putting up a good fight. So, I'm wondering why does Morgan Edge have super-powered people on his payroll? And then the chick at the end was using heat vision. So, I was wondering if she's... She can't be Kryptonian. That's, assume, that's exactly what I... At first, when I saw her, I thought she was that chick that, um... I forgot what her name was. That works for Lois. That's what I thought. I thought she was in on it, but... No, it was an entirely different woman, but she had heat vision. And the heat vision looked exactly like Clark's heat vision. So I'm wondering like, does he have a Kryptonian on his payroll? And if so, who is she? Cause I don't think that's the case. Cause it's not Kara, obviously. So who could it be? I don't know, but 
This episode was really good. I really like the structure of this episode. I really like, like I said, for the past three episodes, the first episode was a full hour. Last episode was like half an hour. This one is definitely half an hour. I like that it's half an hour every episode because I assume that the series is only going to be like 15 episodes a season. But I think they, I heard that um, they stopped working on episodes because someone got COVID on set. So they're taking a break and Supergirl is going to take their spot for a bit. And then after episode five, and then they're going to come back. But I wonder if, um, if they're extending the episodes like how Batwoman did it, where Batwoman was only going to be like 15 episodes a season, the first season. And then it, because it was doing so well, it got more episodes per the season. So I wonder if they're doing the same thing. If they do, that's okay. I don't think they need to though. Like this, like this is one of those shows where, as much as I would like it to be extended, like a like a typical episode format, twenty something episodes. I feel like this show's episode structure has been good so far that they don't need to extend the storyline for a season. Like I feel like they're doing fine with the limited episodes they have. So if they stick to that, I think it'll go well. So we shall see. I love this episode. I saw the promo. It looks like next week is going to be lit. Um, so like I said before, I will try my best to do the reaction for The Flash tonight. I won't be able to do it now because I have class in a little bit. And then I have um, some other stuff I have to do for the rest of the day before I go on this trip. So I'll try my best to do the reaction to The Flash before I leave. But as of right now, I won't be able to. Um, so I will try my best to see what I can do. Um, as far as the Justice League character trailers i will watch those eventually um i can't do that now definitely so i will do that eventually but i'm loving superman and lois i wanted to get this episode reaction as soon as possible because it's really good so i will see what else is next for this series moving forward um if you guys like this video let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of episode three what do you guys expect episode four to be covering and focusing on based on the promo um, if you guys like this video, let me know in the, in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys know when I will post next. And I shall see you guys next time. Peace.